Virtual credit cards using Eno or a new service. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. And I've noticed in my YouTube uh, control panel that a lot of people are looking for this video I made on Capital One Eno. Now, Eno is a virtual credit card system, allows you to create cards that are linked to your master credit card and um, use those on websites. Uh, there are some flaws, there are some drawbacks to it, um, but go check out that. I'll link that video in the description of this video. But I found a new service that you can use that you don't have to have a Capital One card and all that. So, um, But before we get into that, um, thank you so much. Uh, I just About two weeks ago, I had my 500 subscriber uh, live stream, and now I'm at 588, so it seems to be kind of taking off here. And thank you, everyone, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed... Uh, go ahead and do that. I mean, you're obviously liking something and content that I'm making, so subscribe. It'll continue to let you be notified when I make new videos. And likewise, all your other small YouTubers that are out there, just subscribe to them. It doesn't. It's not gonna. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't do anything, but it helps them out to maintain their subscriber levels and uh, keep the smaller guys, you know, in the loop and in the know in YouTube. Okay, so. There is a new service came out several, I think, a couple of years ago, um, called uh, Privacy.com, and I was noticing, okay, this service works very similarly to uh, the Capital One. So you you create virtual credit cards. Um, so we protect our main credit card by creating virtual cards that allow you to use those virtual cards on websites or mobile apps or different things like that so in the same way capital one did if one of those if say i'm shopping on uh you know joe's toolbox uh, website and i'm buying tools and joe's toolbox site gets hacked um, then i only have to cancel one credit card i don't have to go through all my other credit cards all the other sites that i use that card and, and cancel them it's very convenient uh, very easy to use and adds another level of, of safety. So they also help you kind of track your purchases, but I think this virtual card thing is the big thing that you want. Um, you can also set spending limits for how much you get charged. So the one of the interesting things is, so say you're, you know, you're subscribing to Hulu, right? You're, you're subscribing to Hulu and it's automatically charged to your credit card every month and suddenly Hulu decides to go from, you know, $8 a month or whatever it was to $12 a month, and maybe that's not okay with you. So you can set a limit to how much can be charged on that card every month. You know, if you if it's eight, you don't wanna go above eight, you can set the card to only allow $8 or $9. Then if that service raises their price, boom, it automatically gets denied. You can go then review whether you actually want to keep that service. So it kind of take kind of gives you a security blanket against these you know services that we all sign up for that are just like uh, you know you don't even know oh our customers won't even notice a two dollar increase in their fees but maybe maybe you will maybe that's maybe that you're at the limit you don't want to you don't want to do that you can also create single use cards so if you go to some crazed website that oh I need this off of Pinterest or or you know Shopify or something but I have no idea who these people are and you know, I just want to buy this, but I want it to be secure. I don't want my card to be out there, you know, so that you can create basically a one use credit card number that allows you to buy what you need. And then boom, that credit card number can never be used again. Very handy. Uh, you can also close cards whenever you want. So if you were dealing with a service or dealing with some kind of, uh, subscription or whatever and you don't want to use that anymore um, then boom you can close that card delete it and not have to use it again now in order to make you know have fewer cards you can take all of your subscription items and put them on one card find out what the total of that is and then only allow it to be the total of all those cards so if any service inside there is cost is increased then it will start shutting things down and make you go and and see what's going on kind of thing kind of help to limit how many cards you get because you only get so many cards a month for different uh, 
levels here. So uh, down here, there's here's pricing. Um, so the personal level you get, you can create 12 cards a month, which for most things that sh should be fine. I mean, who's making more than, you know, 12 cards a month? Well, like I said, you can combine different items and, and things like that. Uh, you know, secure merchants can be locked to, uh, and there can be single use cards, like we we're saying. You can set spending limits, which I've also mentioned, and close the cards. And there's a browser extension that makes it easy to fill in the form. Okay, here's an account that I have. It's a blank, blank account. This is a new account that I just set up. They give you like your first virtual card um, here. You can call it whatever you want, uh, you know, uh, say Amazon. You know, like your, you can click it, say Amazon. It's my Amazon card. And then I can say I only want to spend $100 per transaction, $100 per month, $100 per year, $100 total. So it allows you to set those things. So what you can actually do is um, say set this to, you know, $30 and change the uh, name of it to uh, like iTunes or something. So you could actually give this number to your, put this on your kid's iTunes account and give them that. And then that there's their allowance, right? That's they're going to be able to spend $30 a month on iTunes and music, or if you're, you know, you don't want to have them have that much, you know, they can spend, you know, $10 a month on iTunes, you know, so they, have, they need to manage that because if they get, they know they get over $10, then they're not going to be able to buy anything. So I need to connect a funding source, but I'm not going to do that to this. This connects to your regular credit card. Uh, basically, you give it your name and, and everything and confirm all that information that way it knows where to send the charges to an actual regular card but this makes it easy you know to to do you can just have you know call it your kids card and just say this is my my kids card and they can spend that ten dollars anywhere or if they're doing you know you want to go you know you give them 25 dollars a month that's their allowance boom done or this could be, you know, like your Netflix subscription. Save that. And I know my next Netflix, you know, your Netflix subscription is uh, like $12 or something. So I can set it to $13. And boom, if Netflix ever raises their price, it stopped. And then you get an alert. You have to go in and check and see what do they do. Um, and there you go. So this works really, really close to... Uh, Capital One Eno, granted you can use any funding source, I think any credit card or any debit card. Um, I would kind of watch it on debit cards, uh, whether it gets to the limit of your debit card, you can drain your bank account probably. Um, but it allows you to do kind of the same things that Capital One Eno does without having to have a Capital One card. And it has some other nice things that you know, you can do like a kid's card, you know, that you get them so it will allow to have them have so much money, kind of an allowance on different things and the limit thing is really nice that it sends you alerts and stuff and things go over a limit all right so that's the other option to capital one which is privacy.com i'll put a link down below uh, none of these people are sponsors i don't have any sponsors i tend to be self-funded by myself so um yeah not i'm not promoting them in any way to get any kind of kickback or anything i just know these services are out there and they're easy to use and they're very helpful and um, a lot of security built in for getting your card stolen. I've been in Mexico with a credit card, using my card in Mexico, and boom, I get a call. Oh, by the way, we've turned your card off. Uh, what? You know, so using virtual cards is, is a really handy thing to do. All right. Well, thanks for watching this. And if you've got any other comments or suggestions uh, about Eno or privacy and which one you're going to choose or if you're not going to go with that um, either of them I mean then let everybody know why you're not going to pick one all right well thanks for watching this take care